بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so the next thing we'll try to understand something called slash value or the subprime mask now slash value uh, also called as slash notation generally uh, generally called as slash notation or slash value so it's an alternate way to write your subnet mask information so it it simply says how many total network bits and also it is an alternate way to write your subnet mask information here now what exactly this is is like if you take any documentation diagram so in a production scenarios you will see some kind of diagrams in the documentations now in the documentations you will see some ip addresses like let's say uh, on this pc there is an ip address or on this there is an ip address here 192.168.1.10 and let's say only the ip address is written in the documentation but okay uh, but let's say you don't uh, maybe maybe the submit mask is not given let's say so whenever i see any ip address 192.168.1.10 and based on what we learn it's a c class address which comes in the c class range and as per the c class subnet mask i assume that the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 which means there are eight host bits which means i'm going to assume the size of the network is uh 256 which means the range is going to start from 192.168.1.0 to 182.168.1.255 so i assume this is a range and i'll go i'm going to assume that all the devices within this range belong to my network but it's not like that okay so so basically this is what we generally assume or device may also assume if you don't tell the subnet mask so basically in a computers we generally write the subnet mask because if you go to the network places and if I go and give the IP address without subnet mask, the device is not going to accept the IP address. So if I just try to remove the subnet mask here, and if I simply press OK, so the device is not going to accept. So when you're writing the subnet mask, the subnet mask is going to tell that there are eight network bits, eight network bits, eight network bits, and there are host bits are eight. And based on this, the device will understand that the range is from zero to 255. So if I'm writing different subnet mask, let's say if I'm writing 128, which means 128 means one network bit, which means there are seven host bits. Now based on this, the device will understand that the range of the device, the range is to 128 addresses is one range, which means 0 to 0 0.02, 120, sorry, 0.02, uh, 0.127 is one range, and 128 to, sorry, 0 0.128, to uh, 0 0.255 so whatever this one dot network let's say so this is the range right so basically based on this the device will understand so subnet mask is something mandatory if you don't give the subnet mask the device is not going to accept whether it is a router whether it is any any device without subnet mask is not going to work but mostly in the newer newer operating systems or the newer ios or in some of the newer devices basically we generally write in a different format or in, in documentation diagrams, you see something like this. So when you see something like this, 192.168.1.34, and instead of subnet mask, they write as slash 27. So the meaning of this is slash 27 represents, we call it as a slash notation or slash value, which is going to indicate how many network uh, bits we have, total, total network bits, how many total network bits. So which means this IP, belongs to a subnet which has 27 network bits so which means 27 network bits means what is the size of the network so again based on that we can calculate so nothing but 27 network bits means it is 8 8 8 8 is 24 right and 3 right and 3 3 network bits which means remaining all are zeros so we don't need we don't count zeros normally so based on this, the subnet mask is if you add 8 bits, 255, 255, 255. If you add 3 bits, 3 bits means 128 plus 64 plus 32. It's going to be 224. So same thing. So at the end, it represents a subnet mask, but it is an alternate way to write your subnet mask. Like in most of the devices, in, the net, in some of the networking devices, like generally you will see uh, the subnet mask will be written in a slash format. So sometimes it will be, you know, sometimes 
it you can you can add any one of this or both any one of this probably or in some in some ios it only accept the submit mask in some ios you have a slash value but in documentations it's very difficult to write like this right if i want to write 192.168.1.34 and if i write 255.255.255.224 it's actually a lengthy way to write so in documentations it's this this is not going to fit so basically uh, alternate way we write like this so so finally what you need to know here is whenever you see any uh, slash value you should be in a position to write the submit mask like let's say if i say slash 22 means what is the submit mask we should say okay 88 eight in one portion 8 bits 8 bits 16 16 plus 6 becomes 22 so nothing zero so we should we should know this is a subnet mask okay 6 bits means 252 if you had 128 64 32 6 32 16 8 and 4 so if you add all those bits and similar way whenever you see this way like whenever you see 255 255 1 uh, 192 .0, then you need to understand the equivalent slash value like how many total network bits like 8 bits 8 8 182 means 2 so it's going to be 16 plus 8 16 plus 2 so it's going to be slash 18 so you need to know both the sides so depending upon the requirement you should be in a position to change from slash value to submit mask or submit mask to the slash value so i got some examples here for understanding so we'll be using this table so once you use this table for fight and examples so you easily remember these numbers like you have to remember 128 192 224 240 for four bits because at the end if you are adding uh, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 you get 240 only so instead of adding each and every time if you remember these values that will be useful so here you can see there's one example if you're writing slash 25 slash 25 means in one portion we get 8 bits 8 3 is 24 24 plus 1 so which means it's going to be 255 255 255 1 bit means 128 that's the equivalent submit mask value similar way slash 28 means no slash 28 means again 24 8 3 is 24 24 plus 4 28 so the submit mask will be 255, 255, 255, and 4 bit means 240. Likewise, slash 29. Now slash 29 means again 8, 3 is 24, 24 plus 5. So if you add 8 bits, sorry, 5 bits here, so it's 248. So of course, 8 bits we know 255, 255, 255, and 248. So similar way the same examples here so if you try to go with these examples here let me explain a couple of more like slash 19 now slash 19 means 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 3 now if you add 8 bits 8 bits if you add 3 bits it's going to be 224 similar way if i take the slash 20 slash 20 means it's going to be 8 8 16 16 plus 4 20 and then 0 so it's going to be 255, 255, 240.0 will be the will be the submit mask. Basically, this is what a uh, slash notation or slash value. Now it's an alternate way to write your submit mask in some of the devices. You may write either in the form of slash value or in the form of this format. So you should know both the conversions. Okay, similar way if I write, let's say if I'm writing one example, 255, 255, 248.0. Now we need to understand that 255 means 8 bits, 8 bits, 248 means it's 5. So the total bits will be 8 at 16, 16 plus 5, 21, slash 21. Because this will be, this is also useful uh, in terms of calculations, submitting questions. So when you're trying to figure out your submitting questions or when you're trying to uh, identify which subnet this belongs or how many host bits, this is very useful. 